20% away. What's up guys, it's Mike Sherrard and today I'm going to tackle the number one controversial conversation that everybody's having about leads. Zillow versus Facebook leads. Which one's better? What are the pros and cons to going with Zillow to going to Facebook leads? So I'm going to break down everything you need to know about the pros and cons to going with Zillow leads versus running your own Facebook leads. And here's the thing that you need to understand. There's one specific thing that nobody's thinking about when it comes to Zillow leads, which is going to give you a different perspective and a reason of why I chose to personally go with Facebook leads. This is going to be an unbiased comparison between the two because there are advantages to both, but there are disadvantages to both. But this one thing that nobody's thinking about is going to be the biggest reason why I decided to go all in on Facebook ads. So without further ado, let's dive into this comparison. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to start with Zillow, the big mammoth in the industry that's coming to try and take it over with all of its different premier agent as well as Zillow leads, but also the new flex plan that's coming out that's taking a lot of people by surprise, but it's not as glorious and glamorous as it might seem. So with Zillow, we all know that you pay a certain amount every single month and it gives you an opportunity for you to get inbound calls in order to get leads in your marketplace. Now, what we're first going to do is tap into traditional Zillow leads where you're paying a monthly fee and you're getting leads in return. I'll slightly touch on the new flex plan that's coming out and then we'll roll into Facebook ads. So what are the pros of using Zillow leads? Well, they basically the only pro of using Zillow is that it's more direct. So when you're looking at it in comparison to Facebook ads, Zillow without question is more direct to consumer in the sense of it's people that are searching right at this very point in time. So when you're looking at Zillow leads, you're generally getting people that are looking to book a showing on a listing and that gives you an opportunity to go directly to somebody that's in the market to buy something right now, which is a great pro, but it does come at a cost. So what are some of the cons of Zillow leads? Well, number one, it is much more expensive. I generate leads personally for about 60 cents to about $2 per lead consistently, not just in my market, but for realtors around North America every single day. And if you do want to know the exact strategies that I do use, comment below and I'll send you my free masterclass breaking down how you can get under a dollar leads that are very targeted on Facebook, even with the special ad category. But one of the biggest cons is that it is expensive. So for new agents looking to get into the business, when you're looking at trying to compete against people in your market that are spending, you know, one to $20,000 a month on Zillow leads, and I personally know people spending $40,000 a month on Zillow leads, that's a lot to compete against, especially as a new agent, which makes it difficult. The next thing is that it's not as scalable because when you start looking at the ability to get more Zillow leads, you just have to pump more money into it. Whereas when you properly leverage Facebook ads with things like retargeting, you don't actually have to spend a lot more in order to double or triple your results. You just convert at a higher rate over time. Now, the number one thing that most people aren't thinking about with Zillow leads is the fact that you're not building your brand. So when you start using Zillow leads, ultimately you're just showing up on different listings whenever people want to look for them to book a showing, which is great for one-off deals. The problem with that is that it's not scalable in the sense that as soon as you stop running Zillow leads, that income dries up. It doesn't scale. It does not build your brand. Whereas for me, it got to the point where I was running so many Facebook ads that people were actually not even calling me off my Facebook ads and coming a lead. They were calling me directly by saying, Mike, I see your ad so often that I wanted to reach out and I want you to sell my house. That happened all the time because again, it got to the point where early on when I was running Facebook ads, they were just filling out the lead form. I'd have to call the lead. I would have to nurture their lead with a drip campaign, which was great. But over time, it became much more scalable because people became familiar with my brand, with my marketing. And ultimately it's now gotten to the point where I don't have to spend a dime on marketing and people come directly to me. That does not happen with Zillow because as soon as you stop paying for it, that income 
income stream goes away. Now the new flex plan is going to be interesting as well because now they're identifying certain key performers in different markets and they're saying that you can get leads for free. So one of the biggest problems with the flex plan is you're going to be giving 30 to 35 percent away at the time of closing to Zillow, then 20 to 30 percent away to your brokerage. And if you're on a team, you might be giving away 50 percent on top of that and you're left with almost nothing. So even though at first glance getting leads from Zillow for free looks so fine and dandy, is it that scalable? Well, now you're probably going to have to do about three to four times the amount of deals to break even compared to what it used to cost if you just use the traditional service. So those are the pros and cons of Zillow. Now I want to get into the pros and cons of Facebook ads. Now the pro of Facebook ads is that it's a lot cheaper and also the fact that again, going back to the fact that it's more personal brand heavy and it's scalable because as you start to build up this momentum with Facebook ads, ultimately you're going to be able to become recognized from people constantly seeing you land in their newsfeed and that's going to lead to a more scalable business where people are calling you because of their familiarity with your brand but also when you start to leverage things like retargeting that's again going to increase the conversion drastically which I do explain in the masterclass exactly how to do that but now you're going to be able to never be forgotten by people and you're not just showing up here and there depending on how much you pay you're showing up every day in front of your target audience for like five dollars a day which you cannot compete with. Now, it's great for building your personal brand and we all know as realtors, one of the most important things is your personal brand. So as you start to develop a personal brand through Facebook ads, it's going to allow people to again come directly to you because when you want to build a scalable real estate business, you don't want business just coming in when you're paying at a monthly cost. You want business coming directly to you because of you and that's what Facebook ads allows you to do. Now, the two cons to Facebook ads, number one, it does take more diligence and patience in order to service those leads and to convert them. So with Zillow, you might get a direct call and somebody's ready to view a property, you can go show them and they're good to go. With Facebook, you might have to set them up on a drip campaign and you're going to have to call them yourself right away, just like you would with a Zillow lead, but you're going to have to nurture them a lot more than you would with a Zillow lead, which is okay, that's the nature of the business, but you have to have number two, which is having a system in place. This again is what I explain in my courses in the masterclass is having the right system is the key to optimizing and leveraging Facebook ads. So you want to make sure that you've got a drip campaign on email set up. You want to make sure that you're using Zapier to automate your lead generation so that when a lead comes in, it doesn't go to the publishing tools on your Facebook page. It comes directly to your phone and your email. So you get notified right away and you want to make sure that part of that system includes retargeting so that you never become forgotten and you always remain top of mind with your target audience. Again, it's one of the most powerful things you can ever do. And we've got people going through the masterclass that again, last week, one sold a $3 million property off market before it was listed with 60 Facebook leads in one week in one of the most competitive markets in California. This stuff is proven to work, but the ones that are crushing it with Facebook ads are the ones that actually have a system in place. And the ones that are struggling are the ones that are calling one by one. They don't have a follow-up sequence they don't have a way to nurture those people and they don't have a proper process in place to convert at scale. So both can work. Don't get me wrong. There's pros to Zillow, there's pros to Facebook ads, but there's cons to both of them. But the main reason that I decided to go with Facebook ads specifically is the fact that I wanted to build a personal brand and I recognize from every other industry, not just real estate, that if you build a strong personal brand, business will gravitate towards you instead of you always having to pay or go out and hunt for new business. And this has allowed me to build a scalable business in a way that I no longer have to go search for listings. I no longer have to pay for a bunch of marketing because after doing that for two years straight, business now comes to me and that can't be said about using Zillow. So both have benefits, both have disadvantages, but I like to explain why I went the Facebook Avenue and some who are struggling with the right systems and processes end up resorting to going with Zillow. So I'd love to know your opinion, drop a comment below. I want to know what you're doing, what you're thinking about, and what you think of this comparison. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.